This is how the nine NFL rookie quarterbacks performed in preseason week one, starting with Caleb Williams of the Chicago Bears. The number one overall pick in the 2024 draft assured us in an interview this offseason that he is better than all of his rookie peers in every single way. I am the farthest from all of them um, in every single way. Um, and so to all of the people, I can do anything and everything as I want. A lot of people heard this cocky attitude from the rookie quarterback and thought, damn, he better back it up on the field. Otherwise, he is setting himself up for extreme humiliation. On top of that, Caleb Williams reportedly told his teammates to clean up their mess in the locker room. If some rookie's <coughs> gonna come in who hasn't played one snap, you know, we're wearing the fingernail polish. Now he's gonna come in here and tell me that I need to clean up? No, how about rookie, how about you clean up after me? I'm sure these players who are in their 30s want to be reminded to do their chores by a 22-year-old. But with all the cockiness, the attitude, the painted nails in the background, Caleb Williams backed it all up. People want to dislike this guy. People are praying for his downfall. But unfortunately for all the haters, this guy looks like he's going to be an amazing quarterback. In this game, you saw him completely command the huddle, making perfect precision passes. And on top of that, the guy displayed his athleticism, making a beautiful pass on the run. And one of those plays that just so few quarterbacks can pull off. In just a few drives, he showed how he can use his legs, use his arms, and also showed why he's so confident. Could Caleb Williams break the Chicago Bears quarterback curse of first-rounders like Justin Fields, Mitchell Trubisky, and even Jim Harbaugh? Yes, the Chargers head coach Jim Harbaugh was the Bears' first-round selection in 1987. Caleb Williams is going to have every young man in Chicago rocking a pink cell phone case in solidarity. Speaking of Jim Harbaugh earlier, Harbaugh's main guy, J.J. McCarthy, has been criticized for mainly handing the ball off while he was a Michigan Wolverine. But the Minnesota Vikings decided that he is the future at pick number 10 in the 2024 NFL Draft. And fortunately for J.J. McCarthy, he does not have too much pressure as he is sitting behind the former Jets number three overall pick, Sam Darnold. Now, while playing the Las Vegas Raiders, Vikings fans were absolutely finished with J.J. McCarthy after he threw a pick in his first drive. But to cut the rookie some slack, this was the Raiders' first team defense while he was rocking with the second team offense. After all, star wide receiver Justin Jefferson was not even on the football field. He was too busy talking to the announcers on the sideline, getting way too excited on routine throws. Once the playing field was leveled, where we saw the second team offense, offense versus the second team defense, JJ McCarthy made some great plays. He finished throwing 11 of 17 passes with 188 yards, two touchdowns, and that one pick. ESPN is so excited about the guy that they even polished his stats by removing all the negative plays when he was pressured. So the sky is the limit, according to ESPN, as long as JJ McCarthy is never pressured. But unfortunately, JJ McCarthy tore his meniscus and he is going to need surgery. A lot of people do not expect this guy to be ready until November, and that's the best case scenario. So it looks like it's going to be the Sam Darnold show in Minnesota. The second quarterback taken in the 2020 24 NFL draft was none other than Jaden Daniels and he got his debut in preseason with the Washington Commanders. After being drafted, Jaden Daniels spent most of the offseason hanging out with 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, whether it was via FaceTiming or allegedly, according to ESPN analyst Ryan Clark, as a negotiator in contract talks with the Niners. He sat with us. He did not walk into the room alone. First, it was Brandon Ayuk. Second, it was Jaden Daniels. At joint practices during training camp, Jaden Daniels was even praised by Jets cornerback Sauce Gardner. What do you think of Jaden? Daniels. Uh, he gonna be nice. And now after this preseason performance, it's pretty clear that Jaden Daniels is gonna be the real deal. The young QB only had one drive of the day, but he had one big time throw on the right side of the field, and it was absolutely beautiful. People worried about his size because he does look pretty skinny. Could this guy take some hits from some of these freaks in the NFL? Well, you don't have to take hits when you're as fast as Jaden Daniels. Daniels got his first TD by effortlessly jogging 
jogging into the end zone. The dude did not even have to run. He was like barely skipping in there. And we need more mama's boys in the NFL, which is why it's good to see the young quarterback give his mom the football of his first touchdown. When you're looking at the NFC East here, I think the Eagles need to watch out and especially Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. The commanders are coming with Jaden Daniels. The New England Patriots are completely rebuilding with the number three overall pick in the NFL draft, Drake May. And Patriots fans are expecting a lot of this guy. I mean, he was cocky enough in training camp to sign a Mac Jones jersey at practice. That shows some big time balls willing to shade the former Patriots first round pick quarterback. And one thing that we gotta love about Drake May is he hands down has the thickest accent of the 2024 draft class. Exactly, yeah, I got a little Southern draw. Uh, I gotta change that accent a little bit. But other than that, um, you know, from the South, well, maybe not as thick as Carolina Panthers wide receiver Xavier Leggett. I decided my whole time, and I really was trying to hold my tears in for real, man. I told my folks I wasn't going to crack out, trying to be tough guy. But, man, hey, I was really over that. But unfortunately for Drake May, in his preseason debut, he only attempted three passes while in the rain and ran primarily with the second team offense. The fact that he had zero touchdowns and only 19 yards left the New England Patriots fans disappointed. And prior to this preseason game, there were already some odd reports that suggested that Drake May had been struggling in training camp and not doing as well as another rookie quarterback who's on the New England Patriots, a six rounder who we will talk about later. But honestly, I hope the Patriots stop hiding Drake May in preseason so he faces less ridicule from these vicious Boston fans. The rookie quarterback May is not expected to start this year and instead sit behind veteran Jacoby Brissett. But expect to see more of May in these preseason games so he can build back that reputation. The Atlanta Falcons 2024 draft pick at pick number eight that shocked the NFL world and more specifically quarterback Kirk Cousins led to some awkward press conference moments for the general manager and head coach of the Falcons. His agents kind of been telling us that they were shocked and uh, dismayed and so that they were informed on the clock. Kirk Cousins, when asked if he regrets going to Atlanta since they drafted his replacement in his first year there, had the least convincing response ever. They would have told you then that they were going to take a quarterback at eight. Would you have signed? I don't really deal in hypotheticals. You know, we could go down that path for a long time. In a lot of ways, it just doesn't do us any good. So, uh... Kirk Cousins does not deal with hypotheticals, and there are no hypotheticals in Atlanta as Michael Penix Jr., the 24-year-old rookie quarterback, was able to start the preseason game, playing in quarter number one, and also playing with some first-team talent. Penix was able to go 9 for 16 with 104 yards in a quarter and a half of play. He made some big-time throws and looked the part, but there were some overthrows and there were some off-target passes at times. And it really does seem like Kirk Cousins' job is safe, at least for these next few years. Penix Jr. really only struggled in the red zone, but he was able to move the ball up and down the field. And he looked incredibly comfortable in the pocket. It is pretty much a lock that this dude will be the Falcons franchise quarterback whenever Kirk Cousins is done. So maybe we'll look back years from now and not find this draft selection that shocking at all whatsoever. Bo Nix, the Oregon Ducks quarterback, who was considered the biggest reach in the first round of the draft at pick number 12 by the Denver Broncos, made his debut for a few minutes with the first team offense and then played the rest of the time with the second team offense. Head coach Sean Payton has been defending his draft pick to the media, saying that he will prove all the haters wrong. And it seems like the Broncos are already starting that process. Bo Nix led four scoring drives in this preseason debut. He completed 15 of 21 passes for 125 yards and had a touchdown. You also saw this mobile QB able to show off his athleticism, getting a few runs here and there. And when you take a look at it right now, Bo Nix is technically QB number two. The starter, Jarrett Stidham, threw an interception while he was with the first team, but it really wasn't his fault. The running back, Pure Ryan, could not hang on to the football, and he bobbled it up in the air like a hot potato, and it led to an interception. But according to head coach Sean Payton, it seems like Bo Nix will get the start in preseason week two, and I predict 
like this guy is going to take the job and be the starter week one. It's not like the Broncos are competing for a championship this year. And when you take a look at Bo Nix's performance, his quick release, his scrambling ability, this guy is ready to go and develop and get some live game reps during the regular season. Yeah, Bo Nix had some rough passes, almost threw a pick, but he settled down after he got some of the nerves out of him. And Sean Payton did not take this guy at pick number 12 to let him ride the bench this year. Spencer Rattler, the fifth round pick, who looks like an actor who would play Mahomes in a low budget indie film, took the field for the first time for the New Orleans Saints. He played with the third team finally in the third quarter and was able to get into scoring range after a PI call. And that was when he was able to make a mini Patrick Mahomes type play by getting a rushing touchdown. And this was great for the rookie quarterback in his first drive. But after that drive, he did absolutely nothing. Literally after the first drive of the third quarter, there was no offensive production at all for Spencer Rattler until you got to the final two minutes of the fourth quarter of the game. And that was when you saw the young quarterback really pick up and deliver some big time throws, able to get the team into field goal range for the game winning kick. But when you take into account that he played two full quarters, his numbers were not great compared to some of these other guys that we talked about. Granted, he was playing with the third team offense. Spencer Rattler went nine for 17 for 70 yards and his only touchdown was that rushing touchdown. And it seems like this mini low budget Mahomes will have to duke it out for the QB2 spot with quarterback Jake Hayner who's in his second year from Fresno State. And Jake Hayner will not go quietly. He threw the longest pass of the day, a 58 yard bomb in the second quarter. Either way, Rattler showed off some athleticism and he is a lock to make a 53 man roster. The Saints are not going to be able to stash this guy on a practice squad at all. We hinted at this quarterback earlier, the six round pick of the New England Patriots, Joe Milton out of Tennessee, had his debut after Drake May. And it seems like a lot of these New England Patriots fans were really into Joe Milton compared to Drake May. We talked about how there were some training camp reports that he was impressing more than Drake May, according to some beat reporters who were there. Obviously, you got to take all these reports with a grain of salt. But it was undeniable in this preseason game, whether it was throwing the football, escaping under pressure, breaking tackles, Joe Milton showed off insane physical skills. Now, obviously, we don't know if this is fool's gold because he was going against third stringers and he was rocking with the third string offense. But it's preseason, so it's hard for us NFL fans and especially New England Patriots fans to not absolutely lose their minds over this guy. I mean, come on, he's built exactly like former Patriots quarterback Cam Newton. But instead, he's six years younger than when the Patriots had him. How could New England not fall in love with this guy? Head coach Gerard Mayo was surprised by Joe Milton's performance, and I believe that Joe Milton is a lock to make the 53-man roster. I don't think he's going to be QB2 or QB1, obviously, but the Patriots cannot hide this young quarterback at all on a practice squad. He is way too physically talented. And I'm really curious, are the Patriots going to get this guy some reps with the second team in these upcoming preseason games? Probably not. It's probably going to be the Drake May show. But who knows what the hell happens this year, man. All it takes is a couple injuries to see Joe Milton behind the center in the regular season for the New England Patriots. Unfortunately, the New York Jets fifth round pick in the 2024 draft, Jordan Travis, was dealing with the injury that he suffered while at Fresno State last season, so he was unable to play in this preseason game. So the last but not least rookie quarterback who played in NFL Week 1 preseason was none other than the undrafted quarterback Sam Hartman. Sam Hartman, the former Notre Dame quarterback, is expected to be the next male model type quarterback like the former 49er and former Raider QB Jimmy Garoppolo. Sam Hartman is going to be your sister and your mother's favorite player. And in this preseason game, he was able to get some reps after the first round pick quarterback Jaden Daniels. The undrafted rookie Sam Hartman went 8 for 13 for 83 yards, but ended up leaving the game with a shoulder injury. Right now, he's fighting for the QB number three spot behind Marcus Mariota. And it looks like this guy is going to win that job for sure based on looks alone. Many fans after the game were saying that they have never seen a fourth string quarterback be asked for so many autographs post game. We hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown of all the rookie quarterbacks in preseason week one. Subscribe to me, Wi-Fi Willie, for more NFL content from me. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.